across diverse fundamentalisms and diverse forms of extremism is the way in which they try to invoke concepts like purity or the way in which they claim one true religion or one pure superior culture that they seek to impose, the way in which they seek to stamp out cultural dissent and cultural diversity, the way in which they target freedom of artistic expression and artists Artists who play such an important role in offering alternatives to and often critiques of fundamentalism and extremism. There are some specific examples that I will never forget. Whether it is the cases of young women killed by fundamentalists like Intisar al Hasiri, the blogger and cultural activist in Libya, or Shema Rezaei more than a decade ago, a young television presenter in Afghanistan, or whether it is the cases, say, in some parts of Africa, where we hear reports that Pentecostal churches are urging those attending services not to support ratification of the Maputo Protocol. To understand the true challenge we face, we need to understand each of the examples I was able to fit in, in the context of a broader, systematic, global pattern of attack on cultural rights by diverse fundamentalists and extremists. It's also important to note that while they may sometimes position themselves as opponents, diverse fundamentalist and extremist movements in fact feed off one another. They often use similar rhetoric. They use the other movements to justify themselves. We must make clear that we wish to tackle all of these forms of diverse fundamentalism and extremism without discrimination and that indeed each one of them is part of the global humanist crisis we currently face. We have to come together with a feminist analysis, with a human rights framework, to ensure that youth in the future, including young women, do not simply face a bleak landscape offering only a choice of competing extremisms. Human rights has to afford better alternatives than that. And that will only be the case if we come together with a vigorous human rights response to fundamentalism and extremism and a defense of cultural rights in the face of these factors.